Hi, welcome to Math Antics. In this lesson, we're going to learn about an important math concept called exponents. Sounds kind of weird, huh? <laughs> Indeed it does, my good man. And I'm afraid it's because you're pronouncing exponents incorrectly. The proper pronunciation is indices. Indices. Oh yeah, that's right. In a lot of countries, exponents are called indices. But the good news is that the concept is the same no matter what term is used. And since I'm usually an American, I'll usually use the term exponents in this video. But I'll occasionally point out the other terminology too. Sound good to you? Jolly good, sir. Toodle pip. All right then. But what are exponents or indices? Well, just like the four main arithmetic operations that we use in math, exponents are a type of math operation. They tell us what to do with numbers. Okay, but what do they tell us to do? Exponents tell us to take a number and multiply it by itself a certain number of times. In other words, exponents are basically repeated multiplication. To help you understand what I mean, let's review multiplication for just a second. Do you remember how multiplication is basically repeated addition? For example, two times four is a shorthand way of writing two plus two plus two plus two. It's the same as four twos being added together, which equals a total of eight. Now, let's compare that to a similar exponent. Yep, that's an exponent. And in a minute, we'll talk about why it looks like that and why the numbers are different sizes. But for now, you just need to know that this exponent tells us to take the number two and multiply it four times. In other words, you would take four twos and multiply them together. Two times two times two times two, which would equal 16. So, multiplication shows repeated addition, and exponents show repeated multiplication. And we'll see more examples of how exponents work in a minute. But first, let's talk a little bit about why exponents look the way they do. Exponents involve two numbers. The first number is the one that gets multiplied repeatedly a certain number of times. And it's written full size, and it's called the base. The second number tells us how many times to multiply the base together. It's written much smaller and up at the top of the line like this. And it goes by several different names. It's called the exponent, or the index, or very often, it's called the power. For example, this exponent would usually be read 2 to the 4th power, or just 2 to the 4th for short. And this exponent would be read 3 to the 5th power, or just 3 to the 5th. And this exponent would be read 10 to the 6th power, or just 10 to the 6th. Get the idea? Oh, and you'll often hear people say that a number is raised to a certain power. You know, because it sounds kind of cool. But it's just another way of saying the same thing. Okay, so now you know what the two numbers in an exponent mean. The base is the number that gets multiplied, and the power tells you how many times to do it. But I know what some of you are thinking. Where is the operator symbol? If exponents are math operations, don't we need a symbol that goes between them? Like there is with multiplication and the other arithmetic operations? Well, yes and no. Most of the time, we don't need a special operation symbol because of the way the numbers are written. Since the power is written smaller and up at the top of the line, it looks much different from a normal digit. So we don't need to use a symbol. In math, whenever you see a regular sized number with a smaller number up and to the right, you know it's an exponent. And once you get used to seeing exponents like this, it's easy to recognize them. The only real concern is when writing exponents down on paper when you're trying to solve problems. If you're not careful or have really messy handwriting, you might accidentally confuse an exponent, like two to the fifth, with a two digit number, like 25. And obviously that would be a problem. But even if you're careful when writing exponents, there are some times when you really do need a special symbol. Like when you type an exponent into a computer. In that case, it's very common to use the caret symbol as the exponent operator. The caret symbol looks like this. So, 2 to the 5th power would be written as 2 caret 5, and 3 to the 4th power would be written as 3 caret 4. And that notation is used all the time in computer programming. Oh, and one more thing you should know before we move on, is that exponent operations do not have the commutative property. In other words, you can't switch the order of the numbers without getting a different answer. For example, 2 to the 5th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 32. But if we switch the numbers, 5 to the 2nd power is 5 times 5, which equals 25. So exponents do not have the commutative property. 